Blog Talk Radio. Check out the full episode of this on Mental Like Patreon. In the name of Amen, the Supreme, the All Powerful, the One and Only True Lord, and Amen, we trust. As the Republic of Mental, like the real 144,000 is being gathered in this day and time, the mentalists, the Amon race, the bright race. I'm your host, the intellectual new Ben Car race. This is Mental Like Radio. And tonight we're going to be discussing how the beast made us forget about our Lord and believe in their God. Now, I want you all to understand something. That there's only one Lord and many gods. There's only one Lord and many gods. Lord is synonymous with one power, one, uh, uh, one, uh, all powerful force or source or being or group of beings as a collective body. There's only one, that title Lord is only known for, as one. You see? You got people who try to make God synonymous with God, um, the Lord. You have many gods, but only one Lord. Alright? You have many gods but one Lord. What is that when I say gods? God is another way of saying guides. That's all that is. There are many guides, right? But only one Lord. Why do I call, why do I say that the word God is really another way of saying guides? Because the people in religion, do they not guide you? Do they not direct you as to how you're supposed to be? In the world through their religious beliefs, do they not? Do they not guide people? Do they not say that God guides the world, guides people, and things like that? However, they have different gods who give different directions to different people. For example, a Muslim's belief in God is not going to be the same as a Christian's belief in God, right? Or Israelite or Jew's belief in God is not going to be the same as the Muslim or the Christian. Isn't that correct? So, obviously those people are guided by something else. People will tell you that religion is something that we'll rely on, right, to be guided. Right? This is what religion relies, religion is created for people to rely on to be guided. And religion is created by man. How did the beast make us forget about our Lord and believe in their gods basically by telling us that look I'm in charge I'm running this it's what I push and how do you push Jesus on the plantation wherever he go he pushes God he pushes God and his Jesus wherever he goes he pushes it because it exalts his ideas his I, his big God and Jesus that he creates it exalts his ideas the slave masters were telling the slaves see you know God wants you to be a slave to me God wants you to work and serve your master see that's what God wants God wants you to pray to me God wants you to serve me and work hard and all this and he's sitting here with a straight face telling y'all this telling you this it's okay God because you do what your master says if your master says uh, uh, let me put my teeth in your mouth it's okay if, 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 if God, if I'm your master, if I want to pour with you, it's okay. If I want to hear, I mean, lay with you, it's okay. That's what they taught you. That's the, anything they want to do, they use they sneak up God to push it. They sneak up demon that they call God. Why did they do this? To push their degeneracy, that's why. They push Allah, Jehovah, Jesus, Yahweh to push their degeneracy. They just use that as a vehicle to push their degeneracy. And of course, y'all are so mystified and mesmerized by God and his belief of some up in the sky, y'all believe this nonsense, y'all go for it. Why did, do they do this? Because it's control. It's a form of control. It's a form of control, that's all. To control you and he uses the image of his God to push that. There is no God from the beast. He's he he's a one to be God. Who is the re- who, are, who are, it was our real Lord Amen, and Amen is based on those who have chosen to live on a higher accord, live on a higher accord, and follow a law and order collectively. That's Amen. That's those who live on that higher accord. You see, you people don't want to live on no higher accord. You showed that you want to follow God, so you want to live on the lower like everybody else. Are there multiple lords or gods? No, there's only one Lord, meaning one Lord, one order, and there's multiple gods, meaning many uh, characters and uh, characters who cre- who create in their own image of God, God in their own image, and after they like this. 
But like I said, all falsehoods are going to come to an end. And the illumination of reality is coming through Amen, Hail Amen. That's it. For the um, complete broadcast, you're going to have to go to Mental like Patreon. Go to Mental like Patreon for this complete broadcast because it will not, I guarantee you, it will not be on YouTube. Subscribe to Mental like Patreon and join the Mesoamerican community. If it's hell, I'm in, then it's hell us. They tried everything just to spell us. Fed us religion, gave us fake gods. Through all of that, we beat the odds. Now we coming together under one flag. Colors red, gold, and blue. Superman, Superwoman, that's me and you. The infinite capability.